Finally, along with flexibility, accountability, and clarity, we add empowerment. Returning once again to our visit with your family doctor, you might say we are blessed to have such a wonderful system of health care in Rochester. It is great to have experts. But our community is healthiest when we are all actively engaged in healthy living, healthy diets, healthy habits, healthy lifestyles. Medical centers do not simply take care of extreme cases of health needs. They also promote involvement and empowerment of all people to practice healthy living. So too for the church. We need the expertise and accountability of leaders, but most of all, we need everyone to be involved in ministry. We're all ministers. One of the main teachings of the Lutheran Church is the priesthood of all believers. So how do we involve all of our members? How do we empower people to make this their own ministry? Our ministry model with its emphasis on generations empowers all of us. We ask, what does it mean for my generation to be a fully devoted disciple? This may mean a unique worship experience or Bible study. It also means that as in any functional family, the several generations within the church do not compete for resources, but bless each other. That's what a healthy family does. Grandparents bless their spiritual grandchildren and grandchildren bless their spiritual grandparents. We want each generation to live out a fully devoted discipleship that makes sense to the members of that generation. Our ministry plans that worked so well for so long are no longer working. Our world is changing dramatically. These changes call for major changes in how we do ministry. We've suggested that our new constitution and ministry model will provide us with four important factors necessary for ministry. Flexibility, accountability, clarity, and empowerment. These factors apply to every time of significant change. Consider Jesus in Matthew chapter 10. About halfway through his ministry, he sent out the 12 disciples. It was a test ride of his new model for ministry. As we read how Jesus led his disciples into a new model for ministry, we, we see evidence of flexibility. He threw out the old constitution, the rules and the regulations of the Old Testament, and established a new covenant in his blood. He had very few rules. Preach as you go, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus added accountability to the twelve. He, he was not afraid of losing power to the disciples. He freely gave them power to cast out demons and cleanse the lepers. For it's only by giving power that we can expect accountability. And Jesus held the disciples accountable. When they returned, they told Jesus all that they had done. Jesus gave them a clear mission filled with clarity. Don't go among the Gentiles, go only to the Jews. Heal the sick, proclaim good news. And finally, there was empowerment. Jesus sent out ordinary people, not priests, not the professionals. He sent out people who were not trained. This was for everyone. When ministry plans need to change, we see the need of these four factors, flexibility, accountability, clarity, and empowerment. So we see these not only in Matthew chapter 10, but also in the book of Acts as the church was beginning. So also we see these four same things in the time of Martin Luther and the Protestant Reformation. Closer to our own history, we see the first Christians in southern Minnesota and even the founding uh, parents of this congregation all lived out this flexibility, accountability, clarity, and empowerment. These are essential to any ministry plan for a changing world. Our new constitution gives us flexibility in how we will go about doing ministry, accountability for our leadership, clarity in our purpose and values, and empowerment of all of our members. Our new model for ministry also supports these four aids to ministry. The root system of this tree represents the board. Roots support and nurture the life of the tree. 
The board supports and nurtures the ministry of the congregation. The trunk represents our unity in Christ. Though we are six different generations with varied views and ministry needs, our unity is central to our ministry in life. The trunk represents the core and formative experience of unity, birthed in baptism, remembered in a common history, and lived out in our mission and value statements. The six branches represent the diversity that flows from our healthy unity, six unique generational ministries that do not compete for resources, but instead bless each other. Our flexibility comes from the board's ability to channel resources where they are needed most and as the ministry teams direct. Our accountability comes from the board's intentional plans for ministry that include strategy, execution, and evaluation. Our clarity comes from our mission statement and values. They are central both in the deliberations of the board and the ministry teams. Our empowerment comes from giving ministry teams an opportunity to decide how the six values are best lived out for the members of each generation. Hi, everybody. Let's be part of the solution. 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 Let's be a part of the solution. Please. Let's be part of the solution. Let's be part of the solution. Let's be part of the solution. We live in this great community of Rochester, Minnesota. We are a medical center, a place that offers state-of-the-art health care, but also is on the cutting edge of medical research. As such, many of us in our workplaces ask two questions, what's wrong and how can we fix it? It is exciting to be part of a team that solves a problem for our local setting and even for the people around the world. Here at Gloria Day, we are faced with the same exciting challenge. Many churches are struggling. The old ministry plans are no longer working. It may be that for just such a time as this, we have been brought together at this one place. You and I, each one of us here at Gloria Day Lutheran Church, Rochester, Minnesota. Maybe we have been brought together to help, like a medical research facility, to figure out how to address this problem. The leadership of our congregation has given us the first step in being part of the solution, a new constitution a new model for ministry. We're excited about the possibilities for renewal and growth. We're energized by the Holy Spirit's call to be part of this important work. There is a problem in the church today. We believe God is calling us to be part of the solution. Join us on Sunday, November 21st, as we vote on the new constitution for Gloria Day Lutheran Church. Be part of the solution.